Hello and welcome to TV News with some latest events in the Dun province. Ladies and gentlemen, in the morning of May 25th, the Provincial Committee of the Vietnam Fatherland Front have a conference to summarize 20 years of the Rift National Yearly Festival in the periods of 2003-2023. Attending the conference, there were Mr. Nguyen Man Hong, Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Ms. Nguyen Dai Thi, Standing Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Council. Over the last time, the Vietnam Fatherland Road Committees at top levels in the province have always gathered and built a great solidarity block of the whole people. Campaigns and emulation movements are always positively responded to. Thereby, it strongly aroused the strength of race solidarity, rumors on resources, makes positive contributions of everyone in poverty reduction, new rural construction. Speaking at the conference, Mr. Nguyen Man Hong appreciated the resource achieved by the Vietnam Fatherland Run Committee in the past 20 years. At the same time, it is emphasized that in the coming time, the Fatherland Run's icon levels must be very dynamic and creative, in various and rich forms to encourage the people to participate in patriotic emulation movement to successfully carry out the tasks of economic and social development, maintain political security, social order, and on this occasion, many individuals and groups were priced. Through actual surveys, studying reports of localities and related departments, along with current legal documents, at the morning session on May 25th, the Economic and Budget Department of the Provincial Appeals Council assessed the cost leading to difficulties in the adjustment of land judges. In general, in the period of 2020-2022, the administrative reform in the land sector is promoted, thereby shortening the time to resolve procedures, improving transparency, publicizing the time of processing, and correcting land fluctuations. However, the shortcomings and difficulties in this field are still very large. First of all, the system of legal documents related to the land sector is very diverse and often judges. The access, updates, research, and application of the law in daily reality is still limited. The situation of state management of land in the locality still has many factors left by history but has not been completely resolved. The work of directing a state management of registration and adjustment of land changes is still limited. The inspection and supervision has not been regular, so the difficulties, problems, and inadequacies occurring in reality are slow to be handled and overcome. In addition, the direction and coordination between functional branches and peers committees of districts and communes in some places are not close. The contingents of carers, civil servants, and public employees to advise and serve the state management of land trans management in the district and communal levels in some places is still lacking. The ability has been increased but still limited. The Economic and Budget Department has made five recommendations to the Provincial Appeals Committee and adds the recommendations to the Department of Natural Resources and Environment to overcome the above-mentioned difficulties and inadequacies. In the morning of May 25th, the Dunn Provincial People's Committee have a red cameron to announce the plan to organize the forum to connect businesses to invest in and develop high-tech agriculture ecosystem in the Dunn Province in 2023. The rest conference was co-chaired by Mr. Trần Văn Chính, Vice Chairman of the Tây Provincial People's Committee, Mr. Gabo Fluid, Chairman of European Chamber of Commerce in Vietnam, Eurocham, General Director of the Hills Asia, Mr. Vũ Mạnh Hùng, Vice Chairman of Vietnam Digital Agriculture Association, Chairman of the Board of the Directors of Hùng Nhân Group. Accordingly, the forum will take place at 8.30 a.m. on June 2, 2023 at the Tenen Provincial Party Committee. The forum will have the participation of representatives of government leaders, government officers, ministry and central branches, and address about 500 businesses registered to participate. This is considered the largest international investment forum ever in Tenen. One of the main goals of organizing the forum on June 2nd is to connect the European with Vietnamese businesses in general and with tenant businesses in particular. 
và doanh nghiệp ở Tây Ninh nói riêng. According to Mr. Vũ Minh Hùng, the Vietnam Digital Agriculture Association aims at supporting the development of large-scale projects to modernize Vietnam's agriculture, introducing centers of high-quality agricultural products in the world, online agricultural products trading floor, connecting globally, deploying a digital agricultural vocational training system for Vietnam and the region, cooperating in building centers for processing and reserving agricultural products in the regions. The forum is an opportunity for euro charm businesses to find investment opportunities in Tinan, one of the localities with great potential for development in agriculture. Also at the Red Cambrian announcing the plan to organize forum to connect businesses to invest in and develop high-tech agriculture ecosystem in Tinan province in 2023. Mr. Trần Văn Chiến, Vice Chairman of the Tenant Province of People's Committee, introduced to representatives of news agencies the potentials and advantages to invest in agriculture development, especially high-tech agriculture. Tenant's agricultural sector accounts for more than 20% of the province's economic structure. The agricultural production area is more than 342,000 hectares. Accounting for nearly 85% of the natural area in the agricultural economy structure of the farming sector accounts for 75% of the value and the husbandry sector accounts for 21% of the sector's value. The Nguyen province determines that agricultural development in the direction of modernity and application of high technology is a key task, so it has developed a scheme planning of 20 high-tech agricultural regions in the period of 2022-2030 with an area of over 11,650 hectares. Mr. Trần Văn Chiến emphasized that the Nguyen Provincial Bills Committee is committed to creating unfavorable conditions and prefer rental policies for businesses to invest in the Nguyen. The Nguyen has two growing areas eligible for recognition of high-tech agricultural areas in the period of 2022-2025. In the first area, it develops industrial crops, vegetables, and roads with an area of 1,300 hectares in Ninh Kamil Chothan District. This area is adjacent to the area adjacent plots. Currently, it is growing sugarcane and producing high-tech agriculture. According to reduction orientation, it maintains sugarcane average and develops high-tech agriculture. The investor is Hunton Limited Liability Company. The implementation cost is 300 billion Vietnam dong from the socialization source. In the second area, it develops industrial crops, organic sugarcane with an area of 950 hectares in Tan Long Kamil Chothan District. This area also has an area of inter-regional adjacent plots that scale meets the criteria of high-tech agricultural areas. Currently, it is growing bananas and sugarcane, synchronized mechanization from planting, tending, and harvesting. Organize the production and consumption of products according to the value chain. Investors have been investing in complete transport infrastructure, electricity, irrigation, and rainwater system. The production orientation of this region is to maintain sugarcane areas, some areas of organic cultivation, and banana cultivation. The implementation costs a 150 billion Vietnam dong from the socialization source. On May 25th, the Unions of Friendship Organizations of the Province and Ho Chi Minh City signed the Regulation on Cooperation in People-to-People -people Diplomacy for the period of 2023-2028. The regulation aims to concretize the continued strengthening, expansion, and renewal of operation methods in order to effectively carry out people-to-people -people diplomacy in the new situation. After the signing ceremony, Tenen will strengthen coordination of science activities, especially foreign affairs with Cambodia, with specific plans for implementation. The Union of Friendship Organizations of the two localities can better coordinate and advise leaders on such matters as consulting work and research on people's foreign affairs, implementing cooperation and friendly exchanges between people in the area and people of other countries in order to build and develop solidarity and friendship relations.
The Orion on May 25, 1975, were the days of the event that the Southern Security Subcommittee and the representative of the Central People's Armed Police Command heard a report on the directive on the task of organizing the armed security, making the developments of the maturity in on experts for officers and soldiers of the provincial border and has become a glorious traditional day of the unit. 48 years have passed since then, tenant Bottega officers and soldiers have not stopped promoting tradition, overcoming difficulties and taking initiative in all situations to firmly protect sovereignty and national border security. Looking back at the 40-year history of building, fighting and growing up, generations of tenant Bottega have always promoted the broadest tradition of their brave and resilient homeland. Worthy of the unit's heroic tradition, constantly building an increasingly strong force organization. From the very first day of its experiments, the previous generations of the provincial Portugal have freely fought and sacrificed themselves together with the authorities and people of the Nen province, wrote heroic history piece in the resistance war against the U.S., protecting the border, fought against Hong Kong history, and managed and protected the border, adding to the pride tradition of the free and resilient Nen Turning each golden page of the history of the provincial Bottega, there are names that have been written. These are the phrase Samat, five days and nights firmly on the line of fire, the heroic, intermittable Fulton, determined to protect the border to the last bullet, determined to die for the fatherland to decide to leave up Blogger, all the Bottega stations including Mokbai, Long Phu, Chang Rik, Katum, and Tong Le Chang, which have steadfastly held on for 450 days and nights to freely fight to rotate the border and people. Over the past 50 years, in the process of building, fighting and growing up, being received the attention and leadership of the party state, Central Military Commission and Ministry of National Defense, the Bodega Command, the Provincial Party Committee, the Provincial Peace Committee, with the support of the authorities and people of the province, the Bodega of the province has met in on a space. The unit has established 15 Bodega stations, one training battalion in which three international border gate stations in charge of managing the border section of nearly 240 kilometers long. Carriers and soldiers of the provincial Bottega have been awarded many Nobel medals by the party, state and government, of which two units have been conferred the title of Heroes People's Armed Forces. These are Fulton Border Gate and Sama International Border Gate stations. In addition to the noble title of Hero of the People's Armed Forces of Samad International Border Gate Station and Fulton Border Gate Station, many other units of the provincial border Gate have also been awarded the Second Class Military Merit Medal, the first, second and third class victory medals. By the party and state, these glorious achievements further enhance the heroic and indomitable tradition of the Border Gate Forces of the province. Promoting that tradition, generations of Tenen Bodega today always try their best to study and practice to create more new victories. Working up the church of the party committee, government and people of the province so that the border of the fatherland is more and more firmly maintained. That's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.